God wants you to know that he will change your situation. He's a God that works wonders. He is a God that turns every situation around and he works in mysterious ways. Dear child of God, you should know today that God will fix that situation if only you would believe. He said if you will believe all things are possible to them that believe. You are one of those persons that God has found today to change your story. And I want you to know that you are truly blessed and privileged. If you would only believe this blessing is for you. If you would only believe that God can still fix that situation, then this blessing is for you. If you can only trust in God and say, Lord, you alone can fight my battles, then this blessing is for you. If you could only stand your ground and say, I will not give up on God, then this blessing is for you. If you would tell yourself, I and my family will get out from this situation, we will get out from this storm, we will go through this one and have a testimony, a great testimony indeed, then this is for you. You should know that God is the God of wonders and he knows how to do the things that he does best. He says that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He says I know the thoughts that I think towards your family. It's the thought of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope and to bring you to an expected end. Dear child of God, God will fix that situation and you should believe it today because it's going all out for you to change your story. Is going all out for you to give a meaning to your life. Yes, you were about to give up, but God is saying, do not. Yes, you are about to stop all the things that you are doing, thinking it is a waste of time. But God is saying to you, do not give up. Do not become weary in well-doing, because in due time, you will receive your reward. And if you would believe it today, dear child of God, you are one of the persons amongst the millions on the face of the earth, amongst the billions who are still alive to receive this blessing. God will come through for you. All he wants you to do is to believe. He says, if you have faith, if you have faith as little as a mustard seed, he said, you will say to this mountain, be thou cast into the sea and it shall listen. It shall do all that you want, dear child of God that mountain shall be removed from you. Dear child of God, that situation, that problem will be fixed if only you would believe, if only you would trust in God, if only you would have faith in God, saying to God, you are the all-knowing God, you are the all-powerful God, and nothing is too hard for you to do. He said, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I want you to know today that God will fix that situation. He's telling you, I have done it before and I can do it again. He is saying to you today, dear child of God, I did it in the past and I can still do it again. It's the God that remains the same yesterday, today and forevermore. Hebrews 13 verse 8, dear child of God, you will see God change that situation. All he wants you to do is to believe. And you are one of those that God will give a testimony to. You have been privileged to have God visit you. And you will see God show himself strong and mighty in your life. You will see God show himself greatly and excellently in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you a turnaround testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. He will let you know that he has been involved in your life since you were born. He told Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Dear child of God, God knows that situation. He knows everything that is going to befall you. And he's saying to you, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to do something about it. All I want you to do is to trust me. All I want you to do is to believe that I can. There is nothing too hard for God to do. It may have been difficult for you to do, dear child of God. It may have been difficult for your friends. Yes, it may have been difficult for those who you have had hopes and faith in. 
They have failed you. They have disappointed you. Not because they wanted to disappoint you, but they do not have the capacity to help you. They do not have the capacity. But God is saying, I am well able. I have the capacity. I have all the strength that you need and I will do it. I will give you a testimony. You would have your victories. You would have that joy that will be unending in the mighty name of Jesus. So would you say to God today and say, God, please come fix this situation. I hope in you. I have faith in you. You have promised me. You said to me that if I believe in you, if I can only have faith in you, that I will not be put to shame. I put my faith. I put my trust. I put my confidence in you. And I know that I would not be put to shame. If you have to bless a hundred persons, I want to be one of them. If you have to bless a billion people today, I want to be one of them. If you have to bless 10 billion people today, I want to be one of those. And I know that you have sent this to me to change my story. Dear child of God, the Lord will visit you. It will change your story and it will turn everything around. Just believe him. It is not in the doings of man, but in the great special abilities of God. And God is saying, there is nothing, there is nothing too hard for me to do. So you would have that testimony. The result will come back and it will become negative. The result will come back and you will discover everything has been flushed off your system. Dear child of God, the result will come back and it will be said to you that you are clean and you are clear because God wants to do it and take the glory. Dear child of God, you have waited for a long time. You would receive that favorable news today in the mighty name of Jesus. You are one of those that God wants to change your story. And if you are listening to this right now, you will testify and your testimony would be unending in the mighty name of Jesus. Day in, day out, you will see God keep showing himself to you strong and mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe this, stand on the promises of God. And say to him, I believe you. I know you will come through for me. I know that you will show up for me. I know you will do something amazing. I know you will do something wonderful that will turn my mornings, that will turn my weeping, that will turn the tears of my life, the sorrows and the heaviness of my heart, that will turn it all away. And I'll have reasons to rejoice. Then I'll have reasons to dance in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember he said weeping will only endure for the night. But joy cometh in the morning. Dear child of God, you are entering into that joy season, into that morning of your celebration in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the days of your life, your joy will know no bound in Jesus' mighty name. You are entering into that season that God will turn everything around for the best for you and for your family in the mighty name of Jesus, if only you believe. Everything are possible to those that believe. Dear child of God, today you will see God come through for you. Today you will see God liberate you. Today you will see God turn everything around. And you would have a reason to cry tears of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. The Almighty One, the all-knowing God is uplifting you today. And it will change that situation. So put your life in his hands and say, God, I trust you. And say to him, God, I believe in you. And say to him, God, I have confidence in you. I know you will not fail me. I know that you will not disappoint me. I know that you will not turn your back at me. I believe in what you can do. And I know my joy will be full in Jesus' mighty name. Your joy will be full and you will have a great testimony in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your household. God bless the works of your hand. And God, turn your story around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will testify for the goodness that God is bringing to you. You will testify for the liberation. You will testify for the upliftment that God will bring into your family because God has destined to change your story and he's saying to you today that you shall be greatly blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Believe in the promises of God. Believe in all that he said and you will see them come to pass. You will see them come through. You shall testify 
In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.